we have our Oscar nominations, so let the real games begin. I'm Josh Rom, and this is Awards Watch. Oppenheimer, as expected, completely dominated the nominations, getting recognised a whopping 13 times. Killian Murphy, Emily Blunt, Robert Downey Jr. and director Christopher Nolan were all recognised in their respective categories. And with nominations in nearly every other major design or technical category, it's sure to be the major frontrunner for Best Picture. Hot on its heels, however, is Poor Things, which received 11 nominations. Despite a seemingly lack of recognition for the director and the supporting actors at the BAFTAs, Yorgos Lanthimos and Mark Ruffalo both managed to sneak in nominations. Emma Stone cemented herself properly as the frontrunner for leading actress, with her fourth acting nomination for her charming role as Bella Baxter. Other films that did reasonably well were Killers of the Flower Moon with 10 nominations. Barbie got eight, less than expected, and Maestro got seven. Now for the highly anticipated snub time. And it was an extremely disappointing morning for the Brits. Dua Lipa was snubbed for original song for her hit track, Dance the Night. And like the grave scene in the film, it seems that Saltburn was left out in the cold as Rosamund Pike, Barry Keoghan and Jacob Elordi all failed to get any recognition for their roles. All of Us Strangers was another film that failed to get any mention, with Andrew Scott, Paul Mescal and Claire Foy also not making the cut. Other major snubs included Leonardo DiCaprio for Killers of the Flower Moon. Despite all of his contemporaries, including Robert De Niro and Lily Gladstone getting nods for their performances, and Martin Scorsese standing tall, well, let's be honest, as tall as he can in the directing category. Sadly, it wasn't to be again for Leo. Now, Bradley Cooper might be a little disappointed. Although, yes, he received a nomination for his acting in Maestro, he was snubbed from the list of recognised directors. Although Kerry Mulligan will be sure to fly the music flag. Other musical snubs also included former American Idol winner Fantasia Barino for The Colour Purple, despite previous recognition at the Critics' Choice and the Golden Globes. And back onto Barbie. Considering the film was all about attacking the patriarchy, well, it's somewhat ironic that Ryan Gosling got an acting nomination for his role, but yet Margot Robbie was completely snubbed for her role. Looks like that battle will have to wait for another day. That's all for now, but keep up to date with The Sun Showbiz for all the latest on the Oscars and, of course, all throughout award season. And if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you next time.